Hi guys, Hans Chamberlain here, and I am super excited to talk to you about aesthetic principles in this video. Now, when we experience art, no matter what kind of artwork it is, some of us have a hard time explaining what that artwork makes us feel. Some of us just may say something like, uh, that one's cool, I like that one. Or, mm, I don't really like that one, I don't think it's very good. But if someone were to ask us why, uh, if they asked us what is it about that artwork that makes you feel that way, we may have kind of a hard time explaining it. So, aesthetic principles give us the power to understand the choices that artists and designers make when they're creating these pieces. And the more we understand those principles, then the more power we have and the more choices we have to create our own pieces of art. So here are some things to look for when you are appreciating artwork. Patterns. Are objects or symbols being arranged in an interesting pattern? Repetition. Uh, maybe the artist is repeating a pattern or an object and they're doing this to express something. It almost feels like the piece is active, it's, it's doing something. Um, positioning. Artists will arrange the objects and shapes on their page. Ask yourself, what does the artist want me to notice first? What do they want me to notice last? Attention. How is the artist showing me what the main point of this piece is? What, what am I supposed to focus on the longest? And how did I know I was supposed to focus on it the longest. Movement. Now, our eyes, for visual art, if we're appreciating visual art, our eyes don't stay in one place. They do travel and appreciate the entire piece. Sometimes the artist might guide your eyes with a line or a shape or a color, almost like a pathway through their artwork. Force. Is there a feeling of energy or, or movement? Does it feel fast or slow? And then how about balance? Does the piece feel stable? Is there an equal amount of visual weight on both sides? Or is it kind of lopsided? Are there just a lot of objects and colors and textures on one side, but not much on the other? Um, contrast. Now, artists use things that, that feel very different from each other. They might use two very different shapes, um, but use them together in a way, or two different colors and, and bring them and let them work together. So how is the artist using that difference, that contrast? Emphasis. An artist might uh, choose to change an item in size, um, in color or texture or shape, and they do that to express something, to draw your attention to it. And then finally, exaggeration. Sometimes an artist will push something to an extreme to make a point with it, or to maybe change the mood of the piece. So I hope you see that with all of these principles, the more we understand, then the more power we have to appreciate the work that artists and designers do. And then we also have more power to do the creating ourselves because we have more choices to choose from. So until next time, go appreciate some art or better yet, go create some yourself.